against one of us, you know, and, and they just come in packs. And the great thing is, is I'm going to give you guys a link to some spiritual warfare prayers, okay? They get their powers by doing these ritual occult type things. Now, we have spiritual warfare prayers in the blood of Yahushua, the Christ, which overcomes all those things. There is simply nothing they can do. When you start saying these prayers, you start talking and speaking against and praying against the things that they're doing, it takes their powers away from them in the demonic realm. And they simply cannot come against the believer who says spiritual warfare prayers, who talks against what they're doing to them, and takes and strips their powers away from them through the blood of Yahushua. When you do this, when you take away their powers, you will see those gang stalkers can never come and the forces like they come. They I, I hardly even see one anymore. I stay I say these prayers every day. And they'll they'll go into other tactics, but their tactics will be at a distance. They can no longer come at you at full force with hundreds of them because the way they can come like that is because it's demonic forces and they're, they're occult satanic forces and that's how they operate and that's how those demons work. But when you simply use the name of Jesus, when you simply speak against them with the name of Yahushua, all those powers are broken. And it's as simple as that. I want you guys to understand. It is as simple as that. It is as simple as speaking against what they're doing to you, using the name and the blood of Yahushua, taking away their powers. And you have, once you become a believer in the Most High God, through Yahushua, His Son, who died on the cross for you and was raised again three days later, if you believe those things, you have been empowered over the enemy. You have the power over them. They can't do a single thing to you. They can, the only thing they can do to you is what you allow them to do without speaking against it. So I challenge you today. I'm going to leave a link for the spiritual warfare prayers. You can put in, go to Google, and put spiritual warfare prayers, and whatever you find works for you. You know, find something that works for you that's specifically using the name and the blood of Jesus and Yahushua to defend against these attacks because we might all see it as okay the government has a secret program and they're using these different technologies on us like mind control like chemtrails like uh, directed energy weapon assaults you know this is the list is so long you might see in a physical way okay it's the government they have these different technologies I'm in, I'm being experimented on this is an experimentation but you're going to understand that, yeah, that, that's somewhat true. But most importantly, this is a spiritual war. This is spiritual warfare. And there are the, the you know, the, the spiritual warfare and wickedness in high places. And we're the complete opposite. We have the power of Yahushua in high places. And we can rebuke all the things that they're doing to us. I rebuke directed energy weapon assaults. I command those machines and those things that are being used against me to be broken in Yahushua's name and you have to say it with with authority and you have the, that's what I found is when I say it with authority and I get you know I get worked up and I, I just talk and get those things that's when I see things happen that's when I see things set in motion and uh, God has given us a lot of different things to defend us from this enemy. You know, spiritual warfare and rebuking in your faith is the most important thing. There's, there's, that's the most important thing. Now, in another video, I'm going to discuss about some things that he's left here on the earth. Natural things that we can use to defend ourselves against these Satan's factions. And it's going to be an important video because you're going to learn that... Um, there's more than what we see here on this earth, you know. There's there's a spiritual aspect and there's an etheric aspect, and um, you know, since you're we're all young children, right now you might think, okay, however old you are, I'm 30, I'm 40 years old, and now I've become a targeted individual. Now they're targeting me with this mind control. Now they're uh, torturing me in my own home with these weapons, and they're doing all these different things to me. But the truth is is we've all been targeted since birth. Every human being on this planet is targeted at this point because the New World Order agenda is to exterminate all life on Earth. They want everybody gone. And um, 
a lot of people just it's going to be hard for them to understand and, and to know that hey even though you're not one of us you're not a target individual you're not experiencing it as hard as we're experiencing it the truth is you yourself are targeted and you don't even realize it they're targeting all of us since birth through our water through our vaccines they've been spraying the chemicals for a lot longer than we know um, let me see what else the mind control you know they're using mind control and subliminal messaging through the things we buy through the things we watch on television through the to the music that we listen to all these things are part of this satanic occult system and it's black magic it's all it simply is you know every time you you go to starbucks you you think that's harmless when you're when on your cup is a lady holding a pentagram on top of her on top of her head which is actually a, a an Egyptian goddess who is this, it's basically satanic worship they secretly make you worship Satan without you realizing it and that's how they control people that's what black magic is all about is you control people make them do what you want them to do but you fool them and they have no clue what's happening with to them I really would uh, really suggest people get on YouTube and start researching start looking up Illuminati symbols and seeing how all these symbols are tied in to the things that we uh, buy and purchase every day and research you know Freemasons who are these Freemasons who are these people who since George Washington and, and before have this secret society you know what is their goal what is their plan it's it's really simple you know you get places in high positions you get places of uh, it's good for your career it's what they tell you you know you are a mason and you're one of us and things go your way and all you have to do is go along with the program and as long as you do that then you know hey the world is yours you know and you think you're going to vote you, you either way you vote for a freemason doesn't matter whether it's obama or the mccain they're both freemasons so either way you're losing they control everything they control every aspect of our lives and um, that's why it's important <laughs> that's why I made this video because you have to know your enemy if you understand who these people are that they're Satanist and they their agenda is a satanic agenda their technologies are satanic technologies and uh, of, are from uh, it's a spiritual satanic form and you learn okay there's Satan there's his forces there's Satan's power now, God's power, if you look up omnipotent in the dictionary, you will see that it is the power over all powers, that there is nothing above that, and that is God's power, it's omnipotent. So he has this power, which is over all things, over the universe, over everything. He's All he's done is empowered Satan to do what he's doing, so he can use those bad situations in our lives to build us up and to find our destinies and to and to make us who he wants us to be you know if we didn't have them we couldn't be, be learned from our situations and and be awakened and learn have the knowledge to defeat the enemy and find our destinies you know that's why you have to learn to love your enemies that's going to be the key thing is you I know as bad as some of you your the torture and the different things you're going through that's going to be hard but if I can do it you can do it to love your enemies you have to pray for them you have to ask for them to be blessed because in the end love is what they hate they hate love they feed off of fear and anger those two things feed them so through your fear and your anger against them you're actually feeding them and you're giving them more power over you you have to use unconditional love to love them and you have to just say hey even Jesus Right before his persecutors hung him on a cross to die, he asked for them, for the people who were responsible for persecuting him and hanging him on that cross, for them to be forgiven. And that's the same thing. We need to follow his example. Ask for them to be forgiven. Command and rebuke any demons that are within within them to hold their peace and to come out of them. And uh, love, love is the key. You know, you have to love your enemies. And you're going to need to use these spiritual warfare prayers I'm going to give you. And you're going to need to speak and rebuke everything they're doing. You need to just rebuke it, speak against it, talk against everything you're doing. In the name of blood of Yahushua, I 
talking. I command these directed energy weapons assaults to so stop. I command those machines to be broken, and um, I'm doing it. It's working for me, so I'm I'm not nothing special. I'm just a believer in the Most High God, and I do what He tells me to do. And I follow His ways. Whatever He wants me to do, I'm going to do it. And it's our responsibility to come together, to break these satanic attacks, and to help one another. Because in the end, that's all we have. They're all together. Trust me, they're they're like you can't separate them. They're like glue stuck together. You know, they're they're uh, they're united. And we need to be united. You know, if their goal you should see is isolation for a reason. They want to isolate you for a reason because then you are more easy to finish off. But if you if we come together and we, we learn these powers that we have, that we can simply say a prayer and an entire network of computers and satanic technologies because everything they're doing is satanic. That's the, see, that's the beautiful thing I want you to learn, is everything they're doing is satanic. If we have the power over everything satanic in the name of the blood of Yahushua the Christ. Through that blood, through that power, we can do anything. And that is, we can anything satanic, we can destroy it through that blood. We can command direct energy weapons to, assaults to be broken. We can command those machines to never work on our brethren. We can break all the harp installations that are across the world. We can say prayers and focus our energy and, co and command angels to go to those harp installations and to take those installations out. These are the powers that we have. We can do anything through Christ. We can do anything through Yahushua. There are no limits. You have to understand that's what the Bible says. Put no limits on God. Put no limits on Him because we're with Him. Where as I know and I've talked to so many targeted people, when I start telling them this, it's just so hard to believe because you see the enemy's technology, you see the enemy's organized stocking, you see this network of just so much money and so much work put toward destroying you psychologically that when you do hear the truth and when you do hear the, the knowledge and the power that's going to deliver you, you can barely act on it because you're just it's just so impossible to believe. I'm telling you, it's not impossible. I've done it. I've defeated their attacks. God has taken me to uh, different levels that I never thought that I would reach in my life. Um, and I'm here to share it with you. I'm here to tell you. I've defeated their attacks. I'm tearing down strongholds. I'm... Uh, Fulfilling my purpose and my destiny, the reason that God put me on this earth. I'm fulfilling all these things through Christ, through Yahushua. Um, and we're supernatural. You know, once you have the Holy Spirit in you, you're supernatural. You can do anything. Your body is supernatural. You can take directed energy weapon assault. You can take torture. It's an honor to be tortured the way, the same way they t tortured our Savior. That's an honor. You have to accept that. And, the, and one thing that's going to help you a lot is when you learn the Bible teaches is the one who wants to save his life is the one that's actually going to lose his life. But the one who wants to lose his life for Christ is the one who's actually going to save his life. And once you start getting these simple philosophies down and you realize, well, first of all, hold on, I have the Holy Spirit in me. So I'm pretty much invincible. I'm supernatural. I can do whatever I want to do. The only reason if you're not is because the psychological warfare going on in your mind to make you believe or think that you're not. See, it, it starts with faith. It's faith knowing that I can do anything through Christ Jesus that might have these powers given to me, to me through His blood. And your faith releases those powers. And that's when you do become invincible. And that's when you can take directed energy weapon assaults and get up the next day and do whatever you got to do because your faith tells you no I believe what the word says and that's I can do anything through Christ Jesus so it starts with faith it starts with knowledge it starts with uh, just knowing and believing that you a believer in the most high God that you have the power over everything satanic on this earth and the people who are coming against us right now these are satanists these are the occult. Things haven't changed since back in uh, you know, the Old Testament with Israel and Egypt. Those, those gods that worshipped the Egyptian gods.